Jay lopita Jay-Z alikuwa na followers 1.5 kama siko say. And within 8 hours the life is not fair. Huh? Alafu kina sisi hapa tuko miaka nenda miaka rudi. Ah. Uh, what are you still rocking with the best and that is info time of course your info time at the end that's my name and what it looks like dem dash you got to come on is on and i let beef we are here you don't know what i'm ready for now rogue nation ceo i'm talking about jay-z and bapo and uh i am going to come up with a babu jay-z a little special shout out to him dash that can speech yeah okay let come on a couple of secret you must have a little bit of a shima yeah rock and roll hall of fame So Jay-Z um akasema japo hawako poa na Dim Dash but yeye ndio mtu pekee aliyekuwa sambamba naye katika kuanzisha ile record label ya Rockefeller na kupata mafanikio ambayo mpaka time hii hapo naye and then akamshukuru pia Karima Bigs Baka ambaye pia alikuwa ni miongoni mwa watu ambao walianza nao from the get go if you know what i mean and uh we should see kwa nasema kwamba you know what I'm a fan of Shout out to them. Hey, can you guess more? The Rockefeller Records uh, co-founder I'm talking about Dim Dash licha kumchana hof kinoma noma siku zilizopita yani katika zile interviews zake na interviews ziko kibao by the way. Ukiungaisha na tweets ndo usiseme. So, design kama ameairisha maumizi yake ya kuamua kuweka mambo sawa na mshikaji wake huyo wa zamani because according to page 6 bwana Ah, uh, wamedai kwamba eti Dem Dash amefunguka na kusema kwamba ameridhika na Jay alichokisema for the culture. Sasa wanajitahidi kumalizana na bifu zote na watatemana na wanasheria. And let's talk like men. But I definitely appreciate it. Alifunguka uh, Dem Dash. Na asema kwamba watemani na wanasheria kwa sababu sasa hivi uh, kuna Uh, case ambayo inaendelea mahakamani cuz uh, towards each other kwa sababu ya ile hisa za album ya kwanza ya hof ya reasonable doubts kama unafahamu dem dash anamiliki hisa kadhaa katika uh, album hiyo so mwisho wa siku akaona kwamba wao unanzingua wao unataka kuinunua kwa shilingi ngapi 1800 acha ngoja nipeleke ebay ebay bei ya kuanzia milioni moja if you know what i mean it's yeah, ni maneno yangu tu by the way sio kama alisema if you know <laughs> Basi so let's just wait and see and shout out to them isije kawa tricky to labor ya hope like bwana tumalizane even then kila tukisha drop zile cases zote ah tunabaki kurudi kuwa kama zamani i don't know sasa kurudi kama zamani zamani wa sheti id na kiuchila baki tu kuwa kama ngoma yao bwana inaitwa dnd na hii ni info time hivi umeshakuwa na rafiki ambaye sio muoga hata kidogo kiasi kwamba yani kuna sehemu inafika chilia mbali yani kama Uh, mko sehemu za heshima yani yeye mapepe yake hayaelezeki unanielewa sijui uh, sehemu kama kama jela polisi hospitali yani yake ni kawaida even though I'm the late to park <laughs> na nasema hivyo kwa sababu Mike Tyson Amerika call katika moja ya interview aliyofanya akasema kwamba bwana anakumbuka siku ambayo Tupac alimtembelea jela na kipindi hiko alikuwa hapendwi sana jela maybe kutokana na kesi zake kipindi kile kudaiwa kubaka au kubaka kitu kama hicho na nielewa sana and so he jumps on the table and i'm like and the cop and the guards are looking at him like i'm like come down i say get down from there come here Stop. come down now and he's like they were doing that what's wrong i said come down please get down the guards then like on the prison really like cuz when he came the the inmates got rowdy and pumped yeah. up and yeah. that's like a um a safety situation there So they really didn't like him there. But he was just like a bolt of enem- energy. When he came in, everybody knew him. He had mad respect. And I guess that's how he lived his life. He demanded respect. Absolutely. Yes. Respect is earned. I'll bear with you if you if you want to let us see you. When I hear info time, of course, your info time at the end. That's my name. Oh, what do you do? And uh even a couple of the, the Queen's rap I'm talking about 50 Cent ambaye amefunguka na kusema kwamba unapoanza career yako hasa ya music utapata support kubwa sana kutoka kwa watu tofauti tofauti if you know what I mean. Lakini pa, uh, pindu unaponyesha mafanikio ndipo hapo watapotaka kuanza kukushusha. They trying to pull you down and uh, na kuanza kufanisha kazi zako mpya na kazi zako za zamani wakikosoa kazi zako mpya na kusema you know what? Umane 
wanazipatia thamani zaidi kazi zako za zamani na kusema kwamba hizi zimpia hizi trash zile za zamani the classics na nini but let me tell you something i believe kwamba artist au mtu yeyote anapofanya kitu kwa nia ya kutaka kuanza kujulikana anaekeza machozi jasho na damu analala na kula na kitu chochote ile kutokana na kazi yake ile anaiweka ile kwanza but anapoanza kupata mafanikio ndipo hapo anapoanza ku relax and then akofanya tu ile kitu inaitwa bora liende he's 50 cent yeah. and when she go up they'd like to see you come down it's the artist community that does this mm-hmm. it's the new your fellow artist that, that does this to you because they look and they go if you go up did you stay up there yeah, this is why they go oh no that first album oh, first album was fire you don't notice everybody's first album is fire why do you say that they say that each, it's every artist they'll go illmatic they'll go reasonable doubt they'll go get rich or die trying they'll go every big ready to die all these albums the first album they'll pick that one and say that one was a classic no matter what they do afterwards they won't compare that material to that album You know what I got a lot of questions but right now ninayo maswali 21 tu ambayo inabidi nimwachie ya imbe yeye mwenyewe kwa sababu it is what it is man and it's a wrap for today kupita info time of course your info tina d and that's my name until next time take care of yourself and each other bye bye